All right. So um, sometimes you'll get questions where you're told to find unique records. Now, understand that finding a unique record is not the same as creating a unique um, identifier for a record like you do when you create a database. Um, that's using the keyword unique, and that's where we're actually saying only one thing of this value can exist. When we're doing queries, what we're doing when we talk about unique is we're showing single instances of things that appear multiple times. Let me give you an example of what I mean. I'm in the films database. What I'm going to do is I'm going to select from member details, last name. All right. So when I run this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to see all of the last names in my database. And you can see there's a there's a Smith, Robertson, Jakes, Gee, and Jones, and Jones. Right now I've got two Joneses in here. So if somebody were to say, just show me the unique last names, um, what I'm saying is just show me what last names exist. I don't want to see multiples of the same last name over and over. I just want to know each one one time. That's what I mean by unique, by finding a unique um, value. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to make one small change. I'm going to simply add the word distinct. So now I'll select distinct member details dot name from member details. Now I'm saying just show me one of each individual type. So instead of seeing Jones Jones, when I hit go now, I'm only going to see one Jones. So that's a unique record. It's making sure each last name is unique, meaning only one appearance of that last name. I haven't changed anything in the table. I'm merely reporting. And where this is useful is if I just want to know the last names that exist, or if uh, we see this a lot, if I say, just show me what zip codes uh, exist in the database. I don't want to see a million records with the same zip code over and over and over. I just want to know one time each zip code that's in the database. So that's distinct. Um, and I, I know that it can be a little confusing sometimes when you're told to find unique values because your mind will immediately go to creating these unique IDs. Um, but in this case, that's not really what we're talking about. We're usually only talking about those kinds of things when, we, when we're dealing with record creation, table creation. When we start talking about finding unique information in a database, um, it can apply to those kinds of unique values, but a lot of times we're using it to get rid of duplicates. If you've got any questions, as always, just reach out and ask.